What's going on guys? It's Mark from Three Finish Mobile Detailing. Today I'm gonna to talk about cancellations and how I'm dealing with it right now and overall my day. Right now it's really hectic. We have a couple of clients canceling and adding new clients on the schedule. So I'm a little all over the place right now. Just earlier, I don't know, Reyes was recording. We're doing an SUV and we only had a 30 minute window and we knocked that thing out in 30 minutes. It was a tough thing to do, but now we're right here on this Porsche and we're gonna knock this car out. He has to leave at four o'clock, so it gives us about an hour inside and out, and we're gonna get to it. But yeah, overall, man, this day's just not going as planned, just because the first appointment canceled, no, the first appointment was good, it was thinking about canceling, but then we went through with it. The second appointment, they canceled. I'm like, dude, what I'm gonna do? I'm all, God, I'm, I'm sorry, I started praying. I'm like, man, what's going on? How are we gonna handle this? I have my worker, so I have to pay for him and his time as well. And just randomly, someone called me saying, hey, I have an interior detail. Can you fit me in today? I was like, oh, thank you, God. So after that, we were like, yeah, I can fit you in at 9.30. Went over there, knocked it out. We we're going, we we're cutting really close on time. So I sent him to go do the other car while I'm still at the interior detail. He came back. We went to the next appointment, which was Reyes was there. We we're doing the Ford Explorer. We had to knock it out in 30 minutes. I think we knocked out like 35, 40 minutes. And man, I was just working nonstop, really thirsty. Can't even drink. Just go straight to the appointment. Now we're over here on the other side of town, like around 40, 50 minutes away. And we're knocking out this boxer right here. Overall, we're just trying to get it done today. Kind of over the day right now. As you see, we're still working. You know, at owning a business, you do got to provide for yourself. But now I have an employee, you have to provide for him as well. So I don't want to like send him early or I don't want, you know, I want him to get paid. So yeah, we're knocking out this appointment. So how would you guys handle this situation when people do cancel? Would you guys just call it an early day? Or would you try to book more appointments? For us, we're trying to book more appointments to get paid. If things happen, say if we had a short day, we're out here passing cars, talking to people, posting on social media, hopefully, like this guy's watching the YouTube channel. Thank you to Reyes for helping us out on the YouTube, helping us grow. And that we'll show you the process how we're gonna detail this car. Hey, Mark, so the people who cancel, they give you a good reason? Yeah, so this lady that was scheduled for the appointment, she told me she wanted to do an interior detail. We had it going to have the deposit, but she had the baby, so now we can't do it. But we have the deposit, so I don't know how I feel about, should I give her back the money for the deposit, or should I keep it? So let me know how would you guys handle that situation? Would you guys give it back? Uh, drop it down in the comments below. So Mark, did she specifically say, hey, I gotta cancel, or can we reschedule? What did she say? Yeah, so she hit me up early in the morning like, hey, I have to cancel because I'm going into labor. That took out, what, it filled up a three hour gap, so when she did, uh, when she canceled, now I was just like, I have one car, a three hour gap. What am I gonna do? And that's when I was like, man, I hope someone does call and then we got that call. All right, Mark, now that winter's around, do cancellations happen more often because of the weather or budgets? Um, so yeah, like I noticed lately, like a lot of people have been like somewhat canceling or they just been cutting back on their expenses just because due to the economy, but other than that, uh, we still have like weekly or bi-weekly clients that kind of keep our schedule filled. So thankful for that. But yeah, man, like I just been seeing a lot of people just been canceling lately. Just, I just had a lady also for tomorrow hit me up and say, hey, we're going to have to cancel because I just don't have the money right now. But I could book you next week when I get paid. So, I mean, you got to be understandable when you're running a detailing business. Things like that come up. Sometimes what I do, I have like uh, clients that, that are like on my waiting list. And then after I'll book them. Yeah, I'll be like, hey, I have an opening this day. If you're looking for an opportunity to wash your car, detail, let me know. And then sometimes we book, sometimes we don't, but it's always good to have those people in the back pocket if anything happens. Yo, Mark, so something that happens with a lot of detailers is common, you were late to your, to your last two details. Yeah. How do you communicate that with clients? Yeah, so the, well, the, the first one, I wasn't, I was, what, like five, mm, no, 10 minutes late. I let them know, but she was actually late. So the appointment was at one o'clock. She said, hey, I'll be there around 1.20. So I was like, you know what? Kind of got a little easy little easy way out right there. I'm like, hey, all right, we'll be there. Just gonna go to the restroom, handle our situation, and then fill up some gas. And then the second one, which is now, I just told him like, hey man, this one just took a little longer on the on the car and um, we're just gonna get there as soon as possible. So what I did, I had to take the fast track. Yeah, man, kind of lost a little bit of money, but I mean, we're here to get the best customer service to make the people happy, I guess. You know, I don't want to get that bad review. Like, hey man, this guy took forever. But also there's things that happen when you're detailing. All right, Mark, for new detailers out there, what's one, two, or three good excuses that you could give customers <coughs> so they don't get upset? Number one, hey, the detail's <coughs> taking a little longer, I'll be there. Yeah, so usually what I do, like, 
I mean, majority of the time it happens like when you're mobile, you have to go to the restroom. I can't just take a dump right here in the front of the street. So I just tell them, hey man, I gotta use the restroom. They go, oh, okay, they're more understandable. Two, like, if you know, you run out of gas sometimes. So I usually tell them, hey, sometimes we're just always on the go, just forgetting about gas. And uh, just tell them, hey man, I just ran out of gas. I'm gonna be filling up right there. And then three, man, just usually like, just tell them it's been taking a little longer. Just today, like, in the beginning of the appointment when we did that interior detail, the condition was a little bit bad than usual. So I just told the previous client, hey, it's gonna take a little longer. Just do you mind me coming to five to 10 minutes later? They're like, okay, that's fine. I think communication is key with your clients. Let them know. I, I just be honest with them. And, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully they understand. Just like how sometimes they might show up late to work and they communicate with their boss as well. And I notice a lot of uh, customers are very harsh sometimes when you're late, five minutes late, like, oh, this guy's been five minutes late. You know, I don't want the service no more. I haven't had that happen to me yet where someone uh, freaks out. But I know other buddies that are detailing, they said like they're 10 minutes late, 15 minutes late, and sometimes they get a bad review or hey, they get like, they just like, hey, I don't want the service anymore. You're 15 minutes late. I don't feel like that's a big uh, deal. Like me as a consumer, someone shows up like 10 minutes late, I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I'm at my house or I'm at my work. So I'm not really worried about it. But yeah, I know some people will be a bit more critical when things like that happen. So yeah, but drop it down in the comments below. If you guys are getting mobile detailing service in your area, and if they show up 15 minutes late, this is for the consumer side. I wanna see what you guys say. Here's the thing, being late, it happens. Having good excuses is great, but how many times is being late too much where the customer's like, now nah, I'm cutting you off? Two times, three times? I don't know, that's like a hard one just because like for us, we're mobile, so we can't control the time frame. but that's why we have to be crucial on our on how long we take for details and et cetera. You have to be on point. So usually I give myself a window, but sometimes, man, just things are more dirty than usual. Previous week, we had a client that just had never cleaned the wheels on the inside of the, the wheels, the barrels, and and that took forever. I didn't expect it to take 10 minutes per wheel just because they're so bad, but they want them perfect. And man, I didn't take that consideration. So you always just gotta give yourself some time and also just communicate with clients. All right, side story, there's a barber, like a close friend, a barber I used to go all the time, He's got a cut, man, just sometimes that guy will be 40 minutes late to an hour late. Me and my son just sitting on the chair. I'm like, damn, all right, this is it. Like, you know, that's, that's when it starts becoming an issue. But I mean, I was waiting at his shop, not at home. So I don't know. Talking about bad days, you've been a full-time detailer, almost detailing every day. How often do you get bad days? Every uh -huh. now and then? often what would you say not too often i get bad days but like this week kind of sucked just because we get a lot of cancellations what was it yesterday would be today's friday so thursday um dude like we had high winds and we couldn't really work we we're out here washing a car and just got dusty and i just felt bad for the client so uh, we got a lot of ca cancellations on that part and it just, it just sucked so uh we had to roll up the punches whatever we could work on work on if not just go home you know and it did suck that day, but I mean, yeah. I mean, the weather right now is just a little funky. It's a little windy over here. Some people don't want to pay for a car wash right now. Just like, I guess they don't see it's really worth it at the moment, because it's windy. That's the bad thing about being mobile, that's a con, is you have to deal with a lot of elements. Like say, for instance, right now, it feels really windy. Everything's just blowing in the car when you're vacuuming. And just like, it's like you never cleaned it and stuff. So yeah, that's the only bad part. So being mobile, out, dealing with the elements, dealing with the sun, yeah, it sucks. All right, man, and everybody's gonna wonder, deposits, those cancellations. Yeah. Have you ever had somebody cancel and want their deposit back? Mm, not yet, but I, I was speaking with uh, my buddy Gus from uh, San Antonio, Texas. His name is G's Mobile Detailing. And uh, yeah, he had an issue what they wanted to deposit back and he did give it to them. But uh, it's, it's a weird thing, like right now, I just brought up earlier about the lady having a baby and like she gave me the deposit. Am I gonna be rude for not giving back her deposit or be in a business uh, owner or business aspect? Am I like, no, like you did book. So that's a little weird thing for me. So I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that situation. Maybe if she reaches out, I'll give her back her appointment, but she always has a deposit with us. You can always use it for the next appointment. So that's a good thing as well. All right, Mark. So last question of the video is, bad days happen. You get discouraged. What motivation do you use to keep going? Not only in your personal life, but in the business. The business aspect, I would say like, you know, it's just like a season, like a bad day is just a bad season. It's just one to look over and then you'll just go through it and have a better season. Like, I don't know, I don't look at it too much, but it, like being in the, in the moment, it's like stressful. You're just like fudge, man. Like I just want this day to go over. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it. You have people just texting you consistently, just blowing you up and dealing with the client, you know, just like figuring it out. But 
at the end of the day when you just go home, just relax and then, you know, go to sleep and start the day again. So, but the good thing is we do, like when I detail, I listen to podcasts and listen to music. So it's kind of like a break and then just, you know, therapeutic. It's not too much of a hassle, like, like you know, going to a nine to five job, going out a computer, like for nine hours or something or eight hours, you, you know, it's just, this is what I like to do. After a long day, man, you're done. Everything turned out great. How do you like to relax, bro? What, what's your go-to? I'm relaxing? Yeah. So usually the ride home, just quiet, or just listen to podcasts and just chill. And then after you get home, kick it with the family, hang out, have dinner. That's my favorite. Uh, chill out, maybe play some Fortnite with my son real quick. And then other than that, just get ready for the day for the next day. Are you still answering messages, scheduling? All yeah. That? Yeah, so there is times where I'll be messaging clients at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. My wife has to tell me, hey, that's enough. You know, you're always consistently working when you do have a business. It's never you just get to chill and go home. So, yeah, always communicating with the clients, uh, maybe helping, like our raise, helping with the YouTube, hitting all the descriptions, all that stuff. And then Instagram, sometimes do the stories and just a lot moving forward. And then you have to book for the day, get your appointments online, make sure to confirm with everybody. Yeah. All right, guys, now wrapping up the video on how I handled this bad day. Let me know what you guys think. Drop in the comments down below. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. I appreciate it. Thank you.